Okay, so this part of the so this video is actually gonna teach how to uh, so the first video taught uh, pairing and setting up the drone so that you can use it. So now we're gonna actually show the joystick stuff. It's actually not too complicated. Uh, it's super simple. So I'm gonna show along with this. I'm also gonna show the library and how it's doing it, just for quick reference. Um, so like I mentioned, just a quick refresher, um, you set different modes by touching different sensors in combination. Um, when you are ready to fly, you basically have to uh, put it in rest, reset jaw, which is the middle sensor by itself. And once it's done doing that, you can select your fly mode if you want to set it. If you hold your finger over the rightmost bottom sensor, like it shows on the picture right here, then you're going to be uh, in train mode. And train mode is to readjust the robot so that you can actually make a fly uh, as straight as possible in liftoff. Uh, each drone is going to be different, so when you first get it, you have to fly it a little bit to see uh, what its tendencies are. So the drone I was using will go backwards and to the right so then I had to compensate left and forward uh, so holding on to the rightmost sensor is going to put you in trend mode and trend mode uh, you do the adjustments not having your finger over the sensor just letting it be puts you in fly mode so if you set the reset yaw and you can see the middle LEDs on then you're ready to fly now in a sense, you check the state for whether it's in fly mode or trend. So right now we're going to concentrate on fly uh, controls. Uh, it's really simple. Basically, when you have a drone, there's four main things that you got to worry about, uh, at least for the controller. It's the throttle. So how much strength are you giving it to create lift? Uh, so up and down, if you want to see it like that. Yeah which is in its axis, how it will spin. Pitch, which is basically will it move left and right. Actually, no, pitch, which will be moving forward and backwards. And roll, which is moving left and right. Each of those is going to, um, well, we're going to want to control each of those to control the uh, drone. Now the thing here is we don't actually control the motors individually. We're control we're sending the information to the drone, and then we're letting the drone handle what it means, what each motor has to do in order to uh, do what we sent it. So we can't, we don't tell motor one, two, three, and four to spin at certain intervals, but rather we tell it that we want it to go at a throttle of 100. And when you do that, the drone does it automatically. So uh, if I put pitch uh, at a positive number 100, it'll make the robot go forward. If I put it at a negative number, it makes it go backwards. So I got a little ahead of myself there. So uh, each line, we're doing this call to this uh, smart drone control function called analog scale change. Basically, the components that we can get our hands on usually have a range between 0 and 1023. And our drone takes inputs between negative 100 and 100. So we want to make it so that our number between 0 to 1023 is scaled to something between negative 100 and 100 instead. Uh, so this function does that for us. The only thing that we got to put inside the function is the location of the pin that we're looking at or the input device. So uh, analog value 3 was defined up here um, so this is gonna be the oh okay so this is gonna be the value that we're getting from that sensor not the pin itself so basically what we put in here is we put the number that we got from the sensor and then it's transforming that number into something that our drone can actually use so if I put 0 uh, if our sensor reads 0, it's not going to be 0 for the drone. It's going to be negative 100. So 
if you wanted to actually have the drone at, at zero position, you would have to have your sensor be at somewhere between 512 or so. Uh, so it's a transformation, basically. And you're doing that for each sensor, or for each command that you can give, yaw, pitch, roll. Um, negative 100 usually, depending on how you connect things, if you connect things the proper way, uh, positive numbers make it go for pitch, make it go forward, negative make it go backwards. For roll, negative numbers make it go left, and positive numbers make it go right. And for yaw, negative numbers make it turn to the left, and positive numbers make it turn to the right. Um, so again, it's just that's pretty simple. And each time we send a signal to the drone with a packet with this information, which is this function, interval send. And send interval is we want we don't want to bog down the drone with packets every single uh, chance that we get. We want to do it in, in intervals. And the interval that we actually choose, if you look at the library, it's 20 milliseconds. Um, so the loop is going to happen at its normal speed. And unless 20 milliseconds have happened, it's not going to send packets. Um, so as I said, just to see how it scales it, it just uses a function. And then if you pick a number between negative 10 and positive 10, uh, that function that I just showed automatically uh, zeroes it out. And the reason that it does this is in case that you get too twitchy with the controllers or you just move it a little bit, it doesn't automatically make the robot go off. Um, so that's it for the programming part. I'll go over trimming next time. Uh, I will mention a couple observations made on flying the robot. Making small increments on throttle, for example. So increasing throttle by one in the span of three seconds will not make it rise too much. So what does this mean? So if I'm incrementing throttle a little bit at a time very slowly, the drone will not rise as much as if I had just moved the throttle to the position I wanted it. Uh, this plays more of a factor later on when you're trying to do autonomous code, but it's a good thing to keep in mind here because you want to you wanna replicate what the controller feels when you go into autonomous. So that covers the joystick stuff.